Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how to make the stitch. The stitch can be used or for a bag, or for a cushion, or for a pocket. And to make the stitch we're going to use the Tunisian crochet stitch, and you, you will need a Tunisian crochet hook. It's a hook from here, and it's like a knitting needle, but with a hook in it. Hope that you find this video useful and that you try it. We start by making the chains. I made 20 chains here, so I can show you the pattern on 20 chains. Now we're going to start with the Tunisian crochet. Um, we go in every chain and we pull up a stitch. pull up a stitch on the needle. And you continue and you put a stitch in all the chains. And this, those are the stitches on the needle. Now we start by slipping the stitches. On the first one, you only slip the first one only. But only in this row, we slip, we slip one only in the beginning. Now we continue slipping two stitches together. And you continue all the row like that. You slip two stitches until one stitch remains on the needle. And that is how it should be. Now we're going to start the pattern. You turn the thread on the hook like this. You go to the first one here. You put crochet the first one, you pick up the second one and you slip them together. You turn again the thread on the on the hook. You you keep it with your finger like this because when you turn it around it will slip from there. Another two stitches you turn the the, the thread and just slip the stitches together. Again, we turn this like this, two stitches together, and we slip them underneath it. Another, On the row like that. And you finish this row. The last two. And you finish this row like you started it. You turn the thread on the hook. You go on the last chain. Now if you count here, you will find that you have 21. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 21. It's okay. That's how it's supposed to be. Now we start the, the next row by slipping two stitches together. And when you count, you will have 21, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 
seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and twenty. I made 20 stitches, but you make it depending on what, on what you're doing, you make stitches. That is the first part of the pattern. Now we start this row. We find the first one here and we slip it on the needle. We turn the thread like this and we pick up two, one, the next two, two together, the next two together and we slip them together we turn the thread again we pick up other two and we slip them together we turn the thread we pick up other two and we slip them together hold the row like that I started the row by make by turning the thread like this we make only one here on the on the needle and we make the last one in the chain and if you count them you will find that you have 21 stitches now the same we slip two stitches together all the row and you continue all the row like that now the next row is the same as the one we, we made in the first one we made you turn the thread like that and you pick up two together like this turn the thread and pick up another two together turn it You make the whole row like that. And we finish this row like we started it. We turn the, the thread like this and we make a stitch in the chain. That is the row ready and then again we slip two stitches together all the row until we have only one stitch on the needle. You continue all the row like that. Now we start this row. Like the second one we made, we pick up one stitch, we turn the thread on the hook, we pick up two together, and we slip them together.
return pick up two together and this river turn pick up two together and this slip them all the row like that and we finish the row by turning the thread it's so hot here in Malta that I can't hold the thread we pick up one we slip it and we pick up one from the chain and again the next row slip two stitches together And you continue the row like that. Those are the two the two rows that you have to learn. The main two rows of the pattern are those. If you learn how to make those, you will manage to make the pattern. And this is the final result of the stitch. Hope yet that you found this video useful and that you try it. Bye for now.